Seven days after the crop season started, the BSCFA members were the only ones not delivering cane. That's because the association chose to negotiate for a better deal, a new agreement, and GOB's commitment to amend the Belize Sugar Industry Act. And after a protest, a few rallies, two road blockades, and two burning tires later, the BSCFA succeeded in securing a new commercial agreement between them and BSI ASR. Their leaders, Fred Ortega and Javier Kameh, addressed the anxiously awaiting association last night at Sirdi after leaving a seven-hour meeting at Yo Creek with the Prime Minister, the Minister of Agriculture, and the BSI-ASR representatives. The BSCFA proudly informed its members that they were successful. This is para que se den cuenta que BSCFA tiene talento. Cañeros de BSIF necesitan su pasaporte. Porque una vez que consigamos el precio justo por nuestra caña, podemos ir a los Estados Unidos, a Europa, México a comprar nuestros vehículos. ¡Vivan los cañeros! ¡Uno para todos! ¡Vivamos unidos siempre! So now that the ball is in their court, will the association accept the mill's final offer? While he was unable to say so, the Minister of Agriculture shared that the Prime Minister played a pivotal role in convincing both parties to meet halfway at the table. Have you managed to come to an agreement with the BSCFA? Yes, we have just, come, we just ended a meeting with the BSCFA negotiating team and the Committee of Management. Um, we did arrive at what we believe is a workable agreement for the farmers. We cannot disclose right now the details of the agreement because they are going back to their membership right now and we'll explain to them in detail what the agreement is. I want to, I'm hoping that this agreement they will accept and I think it's in the best interest of everyone that we sign this agreement and we move on. Um, I must give credit to the Prime Minister who today was extremely, extremely convincing to both sides. He worked very hard to convince the ASR personnel and he also worked very hard to convince the members of the BSEFA. I must thank him for that. I must thank the leaders of the BSCFA and I also uh, want to thank my technical team from the Ministry of Agriculture who have worked diligently for the past three weeks trying to reach to a solution. I hope I'm not speaking too fast because we still have to wait for the membership of the BSCFA to accept the agreement. BSCFA's Javier Kame broke down the terms of the agreement for us later that night. He said that there were four points they agreed on. Basically, the proposal is straightforward. The agreement is a two-year term agreement without any, any rollover class. It's a, it's a two-year agreement. Um, on the side, the other, the other uh, re uh, request from the, our membership was met as a commitment from the government, which is the implementation of the Commission of Inquiry uh, immediately or within the, the first 30 days uh, from, from, from today. Um, and the, the next one is that if they, they would advocate or, or um, approach Titan Lyle for us to sign a, a, an agreement with Titan Lyle, and if that doesn't materialize and we don't get our premium next year, there is a commitment of the government to uh, assist the BSEFA with an amount of up to $1 million in, in fertilizers. That is uh, uh, basically the, the four um, compromises. There is a, there is a, a condition on the, on the costs, on the additional costs, which was one of the uh, most difficult points in contention. And uh, it was agreed that it will not be charged to the BSEFA it will be paid by the government of Belize in the first uh, um, three months. 
and uh, during which time uh, an investigation will, will be done uh, to justify if it is a charge that it merits to be included in the, in the agreement. And it, if it is, it will be included after the three months. So meantime, the, the, the three months, it will be, be covered by the government. It will not be charged to the BSCFA. And while the BSCFA has yet to decide whether they will start delivering cane, their chairman, Alfredo Ortega, says that the members are happy that they managed to gain some advantages in their agreement and that the wait was not in vain. Well, as you have seen, the farmers were very happy um, that at least we, we got something that um, can make us work, that can make the farmer work. And the sentiment out there of the farmers, they, they are very happy um, that the sacrifice that they have done for these days were were really good. We get at least something out of nothing. And the plan is to move forward and we will continue with our vigil today until tomorrow that we have a sign agreement. Then from there, we move on. Joe Marie Lanza, 7 News.